Alrighty kids, it's a me, your good old Uncle Ounce, back at it again. Um, this time we're going to be talking uh, physics here. Um, I came up with this in, like yesterday. Uh, this uh, concept, okay, so basically, if you know of what a Tipler cylinder is, a Tipler cylinder is basically, theoretically, a long cylinder rotating at near the speed of light that if a spacecraft were to like travel around it would curve the light cone see the light cone is what you see in front of you it would curve it and bend space time so that you go back in time now the problem with the Tipler cylinder is that all current models um, require an infinitely long cylinder however I think I have um, possibly come up with a solution to that I call it the ounce chain um, and it goes a little something like this basically in a nutshell the ounce chain is basically a bunch of supermassive black holes aligned perfectly in a straight line um, say black hole black hole black hole black hole black hole and you, they're all rotating at near the speed of light and then you just go like that and it should bend the light, light cone let's see this is a spaceship uh, light cone to go back into the past theoretically um, but anyway here's the first part of the formula which okay by the way I'm a complete imbecile at physics I just came up with it I don't know what any of this barely means, okay? I had chat GPT come with the formula, okay? I know the physics behind it. Uh, but this just puts stats for the nerds, as uh, YouTube would say, I guess. So, anyway, this is the observer time of someone close to any given black hole. Well, yeah. Distant observer time, gravitational constant, mass distance between the observer and any given black hole is ri here and basically if there's n number black holes that means um, this number is between any given one okay it's gonna be different between each black hole um, and basically this little part here means that the time dilation increase the smaller that um, the ri is um, the distance between the observers. Uh, basically this entire thing means that the more black holes you have the more time dilation you'll have in theory. Um, well that's part one of the, f the formula. Now for part two. Part two of the ounce chain uh, theory. Basically total an angular velocity of uh, space-time being quote-unquote dragged. This is the um, frame dragging accumulation factor, by the way. Um, uh, gravitational constant, uh, angular momentum of each black hole, basically how fast they're spinning. Um, speed of light right there, very cute. Um, then the distance between uh, black holes here. Um, however, like, okay. The closer to the black hole, um, uh, you are, the stronger the frame dragging is, uh, which is the effect where it goes, where the light cone goes back in, I believe. Um, and that weakens with distance, so basically the more closer to the black hole chain you get, the more drastic of a curve you get. Um, Basically, what we're getting to is that the sum of sum of each black hole's frame dragging effects accumulates, uh, and basically, in layman's terms, more black holes equals more twisting of space time. Therefore, theoretically, with enough black holes, you could have a finite Tipler cylinder. Uh, leave in the comments if I'm making a complete ass of myself right here. I barely know what this means um, I just came up with this it was a divine revelation I thought about it in church um, uh, 
basically, this means that theoretically, if you're like a Type Three Kardashev civilization, you could uh, you could time travel to the past uh, and go to the first Thanksgiving to take turkeys off the menu, as they say. But anyway, this was another schizo rant by your good old Uncle Ounce. I hope you enjoy the science. The science here. I mean, I'm a high school graduate. I refuse to go to college. Uh, but I think I did pretty good here. I mean, any actual physicists in the comments or whatever, just uh, go ahead and uh, call me stupid or whatever. But I, I don't care. I know that already. So anyway, this is the... ounce chain and basically let's say black I'm gonna just visualize it here black holes supermassive black holes and here's our little spaceship traveling along them and then like spaceship here's its light cone uh, more black holes equals basically a curved light cone and you're going back in time yeah so uh, dude I I hardly know what the hell is going on half the time and then sometimes I think of shit like this uh, anyway uh, any type 3 Kardashev uh, Civilization by man, you know the ones that built the Tesseract that uh, Matthew McConaughey went into, like those ones. You can thank me for my work, okay? You can thank me for my work, okay? You didn't need to bend gravity and love and shit. You just needed, uh, like, six or seven supermassive black holes, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. Interstellar is a great movie, by the way. Watch it. I mean, that's how I learned half this crap. Anyway... Ounce out. God bless. Swag Messiah.